Welcome back, Green Leaf. Listen, um, second night of Holy Convocation. We're gonna cut it short because you know, first night was off the chain. We shouted to about 1 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, but y'all gotta go to work. Y'all were tired this morning. Y'all were late work. for work. I ain't had but five hours of sleep. Listen, <laughs> I got a few things to say. It's a call not complete. We gonna get there, but listen. I got a few church announcements here. Hey. I got it on. Make sure my 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 address ain't showing on here. <laughs> um, we need some help. We need some help at the Calvary Church because there's a whole lot of people abandoning their ministries. Yeah, they walking off the job. So Miss Quanisha Sims said, "Anybody want to join the admin staff?" Down there in the comment section, she handles the comments for this here church. Yeah, she needs some help. Listen, Terrell Murray. But 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 <laughs> she said make sure you got a computer at your house. Oh God, don't do that. We ain't got time for you to be borrowing stuff from the church. Uh uh, we ain't got it like that no yeah. more. Terrell Murray said, listen. Yesterday he came home from work. He had to drive all the way back home because he forgot his black and white for holy convocation. So some of y'all ninjas that be sitting there eating that gum and putting it in the back of them pews, y'all need to join up for the usher boy. Yeah. So y'all see Terrell Murray down there in the comments as well. And make sure you got a white top and, and black bottoms. bottoms. So then Nikki Powell said, listen, if your kids ain't too bad, she going to be the youth director for here Calvary. So if you got some chone, see what we do is we kind of label them like, like you do dogs. When you send them off to the kennel, we give, we give them a little number. <laughs> we give you that number. And if they act up, we call your phone. Yeah. And we put that number in the description on that text message and say, hey, come get them. Or we'll display it on the screen. If you see your number, you better come. Come. Especially if it's in red. <laughs> that means we got some problems with your kids. That means we about to 911 emergency. Somebody about to die. You better come, you come get you. You better come get Ray Ray. Come Ray Ray Ooh. back here. Mm -mm. Listen. <sighs> the Greenleaf Plantation is the sunken place. Yeah, it's the it's it's getting real. You know, all them skeletons starting to jump out the closet. Um, I wouldn't say this episode was all that. It's definitely building towards something because I was like, okay, what? But you know, this is a deep show. This show is just like, just I like, know, just, just like uh, uh, Queen, Queen Sugar. Sugar. One, I it's said, deep. One of plant yeah, it's deep. Yeah. So first of all, we start off and we see Jacob. He's sitting on these cinder blocks <laughs> and he got um, Zora the weed explorer, you know, got her little um, cell phone camera, camcorder, you know, just taking a little snapshot of him sitting on the cinder blocks, giving his good old message because he said that the Lord, the Lord told him to go across the street from your daddy church. Since he don't <laughs> want to be co-pastor with you, you go ahead and feed my sheep. Feed those that are hungry. Now, see, I would have believed him if he hadn't went and showed his daddy the deed first. <laughs> And his daddy turned him down and said he didn't need to oh do it. If you had said the Lord told you to do that for I would have believed you. Uh -huh. But now I know that the devil told you to go across that street and stop preaching. <laughs> so Bishop and First Lady walked over there like, would you look at this bullshit? Look at, look at this bullshit. <laughs> look at this mess right here. It don't make no goddamn sense. And I bet, the street. I bet you the people was out there with people from Calvary. Yeah, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> Yeah. Matter of fact, they came up there and got his little packages and probably went home and talked about him like a dog. It don't make no sense. Look, they, the took bishop of, <laughs> they took pictures of him and said, look at this hard got the roll that uh -huh. he gave us. <laughs> Say cheap. Probably posted on Facebook and everything. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Str struggle ministry. <laughs> That's what they named the hashtag, struggle ministry. <laughs> so, you know, long story short, going through that whole thing is, first lady and bishop was like, listen, Gigi, um, <clears throat> Charity, Y'all need to figure out what's going on in your brother's head. I don't took a try to talk to him. He even tried to get Jacob to take out time away from your cinder blocks, come over to the house, and just have some one on one time with your mama. She really going through it at this time, and she needs your support. Nope. I kind of felt Jacob on this one because, <laughs> first lady, when you're going through your skit, she don't stop what she doing. Nope. To be there for you. But at the same time, hey, we can't do it eye for an eye. And, and no two for two. So Jacob said, listen, my life don't stop. 
Cause Matt got murdered by my sister. I'm just sorry. I got to stay on these cinder blocks and I can't move until the law is safe. That's so. right. I got to stay on the wall and I can't come down. Pass me another brick. <laughs> and another biscuit. Let's go. <laughs> so, long at the end of the episode, we're going to move around a little bit. The sisters went on over there to Jacob's house. On, yeah, I can't talk. on request of the parents, of course. Because they want to know where his head is. I mean, for real, Jacob, why you just going to be across the, sh the street acting like that, dog? Yeah. I mean, just, it don't look good. Yeah, it don't look good. You look bad, man. You, <laughs> so, it making us it making us look bad. That's yeah. what, it, what it really boils like, You sure to. the Lord didn't tell you to go across town? You know, we hold out on this side of town, and you hold out on that other side of town. We on the inside, <laughs> you on the outside. We just make it happen. say, hey, this is what God called me to, and this is what I'm going to do. So, then... <laughs> then you know, you know, everything falls back on poor Gigi. Gigi said, okay, Jacob, listen. If you don't want to come back into the four walls of the church, can you just pick another corner? So here come Clarissa. See, Clarissa getting on my nerves. Because when the siblings are at each other, you, you let need, the you siblings yeah, you gonna, stay at each other. Yeah, you stay keep, out of it. Keep your mouth shut. So every time they would say something to Jacob, she barking. Well, if you had to come back. We wouldn't have to use the last little money that we had to purchase this land. So therefore, no, we cannot get on another corner. Gigi said, okay, since we're going to use that angle right here, Jacob, okay, why don't you take my position? Hey, uh -huh. they don't want to receive the word of God from me? No way. Yeah, they ain't trying to go in my direction. They ain't trying to change. So matter of fact, it's yours. All yours. So Charity said, hold on, hold on, hold on. One plus one don't equal two. Uh, what? Where, where you think you going? She said, well, I'm thinking about going to New York. New York City. <laughs> Everybody said, hold on, wait a minute. You trying to leave us again? Oh, no, fuck this. We can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Jacob said, listen, I'm sorry that you had a little, little idea of going to New York. But what y'all not going to do is leave that family bullshit on me this uh -uh. time. Mm -mm. This is you. This your time. Because they try to manipulate him. She uh -huh. said, you know what? You know daddy is sick. Yeah. Mama head ain't right. <laughs> and your sister's a new, your, uh, yeah, <laughs> a new single parent. <laughs> you know, and she traveled around the world. Yeah, you need to take up the mantle and help daddy. He said, "You're right. Somebody got to do it, but it ain't gonna be me." I said, "I ain't mad at Jacob over this one, but all right." But how, but how can people gonna tell you what you gonna do? Didn't we just have that on Saturday? Yeah, gonna tell you what you gonna do and, and how you gonna do it. And I said, "No, I hell I ain't." Uh. I don't even know why they Last checked. time I checked, I don't live at home with my mama no more. And uh, so I can do what I want. When I want, how I want, when I want. So in this discussion, Jacob said, okay, enough with this. Charity, what the hell happened between you and Kevin? I miss my little brother. He just took and left. Because early in the episode, look, everybody looking for Kevin. For lady looking for Kevin. Ern looking for Kevin. Charity looking for Kevin. Everybody said, where the hell is Kevin make? Kevin done left everything. He done left it. I didn't realize he left his job. I thought about it last night. Now I he didn't say nothing. I, I thought he was going to be at work Monday. <laughs> thought he just had a moment. <laughs> I thought he had a moment. Be like, you know what? I'm pissed off at Charity, but I still got to get that bread. He said, the hell with it all. I'm gone. No, nah, he been stacking paper while he been living up in that goddamn big house. Huh? <laughs> he was smart with his. He said, I, I know that's right. Look, I can afford to walk away from this job, and I ain't even got on, gotta get on YouTube trying to make no YouTube chat. But what's pissing me off is Charity acting like what's what going on with Kevin is such a big surprise. Yeah, you you you, you knew this. Yeah, you knew this. You knew that he was trying to get you back, and you just pull this friendship get and then you acting like he been gone for years. He 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 left yesterday. God darn it! Last night. Yeah, he just left. And now all of a sudden you distraught and don't know what to do. <laughs> Matter of fact, she was taking care of the baby when she put Kevin out before. Yeah, she was. And you just invited him back to take care of his son. And they got help at the house. I mean, come yeah, on here. Come. I ain't got time for it. So, <laughs> Charity said, um, Kevin's gay. Everybody said, what? Gigi said, what you say? She said, Kevin's gay. <laughs> And everybody Kevin. started laughing. It's like, everybody's what? Like, Kevin. Everybody's like, 
Carissa like, what the hell is going this on with her? This is not funny. <laughs> she said, I've never said it out loud before. Kevin's gay. <laughs> but he don't want to be gay. <laughs> and I'm like, like e what? everybody, stop. Dog, the, the, the crisis number. Yeah, matter of fact, they got the medicine at Target where it used to be $5. Nah, no, it's they don't move $20. That. I don't now. even know what the price is now because every time we go to Target, the medicine price is different. It used to be $5. Cause they owned by CVS now, them bastards. Hmm. They took away the cute bottles and everything. Yeah, you used, to, you used to get the regular brown bottles now and the ugly bottles. <laughs> so Jacobson, man, I don't believe it though. Nah, man. But that's a hard life to live. And they say you got doing right is mm -hmm. a hard life to live. So I was like, okay, so they basically left it alone at that. They get back to the house and may I add, Gigi healed up very, very, very fast. Yeah, that was fast. She was looking like a prune last night. Matter of fact. And today she fine. Whatever medicine she used, she need to get at the gym cry. Because he, he was busted up for like five episodes. <laughs> she had one episode. She said, listen here, y'all ain't gonna have me looking bad in the uh -huh. streets. So, no, because she did coke. You know we do cocoa butter and shea butter. Uh -huh. Heals all things. Rubber Ray between that nose right there, but it be all greased <laughs> up in there. Be like, why I can see the reflection on your forehead. Like, grandma, just, just, forehead. just a little bit, just a little bit of uh, uh, healing cream. I'll be all right, am I? Yes, what else happened? Um, so now we got Aaron on the case. Aaron's supposed to be trying to find old, um, old Kevin. I'm really concerned about Kevin, y'all. Y'all think I'm got no plan. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm really, Kevin. yeah. Where uh, is Kevin. Kevin? Kevin done fell off the defense. Kevin even, yeah. ain't answer his phone, going straight to, I mean, not going straight to, it's ringing a little bit. Charity don't call, left messages. Maybe she, somebody need to call his mama. No. I'm pretty sure he, he done he talked to his was. mama by now. He probably had his mama. He probably right there, like baby boy, <laughs> mama. So, Charity calls. Her little phone call pissed me off a little bit. Yeah. This is your best friend. This is your wife you used to be a husband to and your child's mother it's like that but you, you expect he gonna call you back from that booze kit yeah that was your time to put on your sexy 1-800 hotline voice and do what and you talk gotta. sexy offer him a little something in incentive to give you a cow yeah he still won't call you though <laughs> but you could have did better than that that pitch was booze kit i thought you had cuss I girl said, wait a minute, stop. So now, we don't see that Bishop is all excited at the church because of this mysterious $10,000 check. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, who the hell wrote a $10,000 check? I knew it won't. Wait a minute. Mac is dead. Where is his lady friend at? Yeah, we ain't even seen her no more. I know he kicked out the yeah, house the last out. time. Oh, she she probably like she, she ain't had no showing polish on him, so she don't get, she ain't showing back up. She to don't that get out. So, ten thousand dollar check had cleared. The secretary said, "Hey, you good? The contact information is on your goddamn desk, so you can make that call." So it started off where it was supposed to be Bishop First Lady, and whoever this wrote this ten thousand dollar check was supposed to be going out to lunch. Now, first lady says she ain't in the right headspace to be going out for lunch and all yeah. this good stuff. You go ahead and go by yourself. And I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute, first lady. You, what, what, you sending him out? You sending him out? Uh, what? With a woman? By yeah. himself at lunch? What, what kind so, of? Okay. Uh-uh. Okay. What the Bible say? The Bible said, don't let your good works be what? Huh? Evil spoken of. Huh? The very thought and the appearance of evil. Come on. See, I had, I expected that when he got when he went did she gonna be old lady? Yeah, it's gonna be an old lady. Her sister, she at home. She watching stories all day, drinking her Folgers coffee in the morning, putting her freaking alcohol on her knees at night times. So they said arthritis won't set in overnight. But nah, when he got there, it was Rochelle Cross, hmm. and she had her long legs crossed with her boot shoes on, leopard print. He came in there with them glasses on. He paused them glasses, fogged up. He was like, hmm. She had that Jezebel red lipstick on. Uh-huh. She was hot and ready. Had her mommy wig on. Dead saw. And I said. He said, you must be Miss Cross. <laughs> she said, that I am. Said, you hungry? Starving. I said, mm. Bishop, don't you. He over Bishop, there. Bishop, run. He, he run. Uh-huh. He, he can't breathe. <laughs> so he thanked her for the check. 
and basically, you know, kind of ask her for an explanation for a $10,000 check. And she said, listen, I, I think she said her and her husband hadn't been to church in like five years. And they feel like $10,000 is tithe enough mm -hmm. to get them caught up and get them back into the house of the Lord. And he said, with an offering and a tithe like that, that qualifies you for the bishop the package. The bishop round table membership. He said, once a year, you can use the jet for charity purposes. Yeah, uh-huh. No missionary work. You just can go wherever you want to go on the jet. She said, wait a minute. Puppy Brace Bishop. Ho, oh, oh. ho. On the round table that I won't be a part of? A different one, right? I said, I said but you have been flirting with Bishop this whole time? But, oh, okay, Rochelle. I got you. When she left that test, she said she going to the ladies' room. Bishop was like, where my God doing? Check, check, please. He said, check, please. <laughs> So then we got Zora the Weed Explorer. She's so goddamn disrespectful. God darn. Sophia trying to hook up with a nice wholesome guy. Now I'm going to say this and y'all probably going to get mad at me. And y'all know that I don't what, Kaya? Um, huh? Why is it that everybody that wants to hook you up with a nice wholesome church guy picks the nerdiest, <laughs> uneligible looking guy? Oh, they ain't trying to call the boy. But you know what I'm saying. Hey, I know all about it. It's happened. It'll try to happen to me too. Even when I told you that. <laughs> nah, I know. To, yeah. I said, so <clears throat> you know that her type is Isaiah. Cute little dude with a little bit of swag. He he saved enough, but got a little bit of street about him. He can handle his own. And you take him, you, you take her and try to pair her up with one of the extras from the wood. <laughs> and Zora was like, um, what you want me to do with him? And I'm yeah. looking at Sophia like, Sophia, um... What was you thinking? You know she got a type. Yeah. Matter of fact, the dude that you was with, you better watch that because she good for taking your man because mm -hmm. he looked more of her type than this dude did. I said it remind me of Lucia's line, Cookie, and what's his name? Oh, uh... With the doctor dude? Yeah. Good dude. Just ain't her type. Yep. So, of course, Zora the Weed Explorer, she ain't done with Isaiah. Isaiah the, the, text play, her. Hey, the, the player tried, though. The player tried. He was like, you know what? I'm going to help you go and bowl that ball down. You know, I hold that ball a special way. She said, I hold my balls my way. You hold your balls your way. I got my own stroke. <laughs> Zora's stupid. <laughs> Zora is stupid. That was that player's cue to be like, y'all, you know what? She don't want me. Time go. I'm gone. Poor baby. You got feelings hurt. All oh, because so, Sophia. She ain't done with Isaiah. Isaiah gonna text her on the day. They're gonna telephone tell her. So, hey, hey, hey <laughs> check your father's go help me, baby. Yeah, go. <laughs> I said, y'all so stupid. <laughs> just just say go fund me and pay them that little bit of advertisement. Go away. Oh, 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 Oprah said, oh, hell no. We ain't go nothing fund free. No, uh -huh. we don't want to go down this go fund me rabbit hole. Now, why somebody can go start a site called Go Help Me Now? Go Help Me. Probably out there already. Uh-huh. He don't made a donation. Well, we ain't going to say he made a donation of $3,100. But when she went and checked, it was $3,100 in the account. And that guy doing Jacob is happy. He said, hey, hey, I can get me a mic. No, no, no. No, Zora no, said no, that. No, Zora said, you need to go and get you a mic and an amplifier. He said, oh, no, that's to feed, feed the hungry right there. Uh-huh. He said, I can get, get a couple of hotel vouchers. Get some more Panera bread. And Calypso, like, you build a church? He said, nah, the Lord ain't told me to do that yet. And she looking, and she like, looking like, this I'm black. Not, yeah. My hair gonna get wet at some point. So eventually, it's gonna start snowing. Mm -mm. And I know you talking on this biscuit right now, but if it snow, you gonna be out there by yourself. Uh, and the rain. So then we see Aaron. Aaron was like, you know what? Well, Kevin ain't come back. I can't find Kevin. Yeah. First lady. I don't got I don't got your daughter off on the murder case. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I got to go. She said, no, no, no. I forbid you to go. You cannot go. I need you here. You know, everything happens for a season and a reason. You need to be <laughs> here. He said, you know what? I've done enough. Mm -hmm. Before this bullshit come out about me, Kevin, I I'm got gone. to be gone. I'm gone. She said, well, if you must, go ahead. And, and um, we should say something about your daddy. Give said, me your father's my regards. I said, it's like, mm -mm. oh, so you still trying to put your hand in that cookie jar? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look, you mourning, but you ain't forgot that, did no, you? No, I ain't forget that. 
Now, let me say this. Here you go. Mac, see, this is the part that's not believable. And I was going to say it last night, but I couldn't really figure out where we were in the service. I didn't know if we were midweek, you know, because we was in convocation. But I couldn't figure out if we were midweek or was we on the Sunday side of it or what. Mac is dead, y'all. One of the cornerstones of that ministry at one point. Mm-hmm. Named Man of the Year in the magazine, right? Mm-hmm. Why is it like no one else knows he's dead? <laughs> but think about it. <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> I know where you're going yeah, with You know where I'm going with it? Yeah, I do. See, just because you got all those accolades, but if you cause a whole lot of a whole lot of hell, when you die, you gonna find out how many people really loved your home parts. Listen, we was trying to figure out last night who was gonna bring what to the fume. Somebody said they was going by church's chicken and get 14p. This p y'all yeah, ain't even got to do, that. do that. No. They said Mac don't even deserve to be laid out in the church. Burn his a up. And they ain't take long to set his hard parts on fire and, neither. And, <laughs> Usually, usually they'll have a wake. I didn't think they had a wake or nothing. No. Just, just throw his hind paws in the fire. Poof. Soon as they took him out that goddamn bag, they said, go ahead and put him in, in the most slow. Matter of fact, soon the, soon the bishop found out he was dead, he said, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. <laughs> Burn his hind paws up right now. I said, well, God, though, they done delivered the ashes to the church and everything in the little box. Yeah, that little, yeah. In 24 hours? 24 hours, seven days a week. Oh, wrong so show. Then, My bad. Yeah, wrong show. Wrong show. <laughs> so then after we get home, right, this is after Jacob and all of that good stuff. After they met over Jacob house, had that little altercation, had that moment with Clarissa. Then Gigi notices that Charity got an attitude with her. She was like, why is it that you have an attitude with me? She said, oh, you ain't figured it out? You're getting ready to go back to New York. New York. She said, no, no, no. I was thinking about it. She said, that's what I'm mad at. Mm -hmm. Because we don't even get a choice to think about doing anything else. You left for 20 years. And we had to stay here and deal with everything that was going on. And hold up this ministry. Do everything that our father and our mother wanted us to do. While you lived your life. So no, you can't go nowhere. Now it's our turn to live our lives. And I'm sitting here like... Oh, you you saying some truthful stuff. Yeah, it's but all coming out there. It pisses me off. And I've always said this. Because people always say PK kids are the worst kids. No, they're not. They're the ones that y'all looking at to be just like their mamas and daddies. And they can't, no, no, and they're they, not going to do that. They, they, didn't, they didn't sign up that, for this. No. And that's the same thing I'm thinking about this situation right here is these kids were born into this. Mm -hmm. This ain't the life that they chose. This is the life that, what, what did um, our friend say? What she say? I didn't volunteer. I was voluntold. Voluntold to do this. <laughs> yep. And that's what they were like. They was like, I didn't, my heart ain't in this. This is what I have to do. So Charity was like, now that you back, time for you to put your time stay in. Stay back. It's time for you to put your time in. And she said, oh, the only reason you came back was for dead faith? Uh, -uh no. Uh -uh. I'm going to go live my life. You going to babysit what I want you to babysit. She didn't say all that, but she kind of said that. <laughs> and Gigi kind of was like, uh -huh. you got a point. And they do. They kind of do have a point, you know. They, and, they kind of, but they can't hold they can't her, hold her, her they can't, to that. They can't hold her their hostage. Because Cause she was 18. She was 18 at the time of faith when that when all that stuff happened and she ran. They could have ran too. Yeah, they could have ran. But that's too. why I said that place is the sunken place. Mm -hmm. They can't get out if they wanted to. <laughs> if they try to get out in the middle of the night, the Bishop will come to them like this. Mm -hmm. Or they could have a teacup. <laughs> ding, ling, 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 ling. <laughs> so, next thing we know, we see, and I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. That got on Darius. I know he ain't to be trusted. Mm -hmm. Darius had already told Gigi that he was planning on taking a job out of state. For a better opportunity because he basically couldn't touch any of the stories that surrounded calvary your mm -hmm. family all that good stuff. the hot stuff so he got to go where the money is he basically manipulated her yep until she thought about that thing and she ended up giving him the exclusive mm -hmm. 
on the Mac Gigi murder. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm I ain't not. going, I'm not going to New York now. Of course you, you got what you wanted. She saved your job. Why you gotta leave now? You don't. So well, I guess Gigi, you gonna be there too. And I said, I hope this don't trip Gigi up, although they ain't filing charges. I mean, cases can always be reopened. I don't know about this one, but hey, we seen we seen crazy. Other process, other people can come in and reopen that case up and try it. I said, oh, yeah. No, why everything? Is yeah, just gonna shut your lips up. Yeah. So next thing we know, we see them get ready to release on um, Max Ashes, and didn't nobody think that Gigi was gonna go. Jacob didn't think that he was going to go either, but we see him standing right there on that rock. And he was the one with the urn. I said, okay, why the ashes went from the from the box to the urn just to be thrown down the goddamn rail? But I caught that. <laughs> just leave him in the box. Who transferred him from the box to the urn? But anyway. So she came out there. And they went ahead and released the ashes into the water. He went swimming downstream and all that good stuff. You know, in the hell he he ended up. And Gigi just had a moment where she was just like, and I felt that thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, darn, that's a whole lot of relief, guilt, and all that good stuff just wrapped up into a few tears. Yeah. And Jacob was looking like, so, did the boobs get? You know, Charity, yeah. she had a little, like, oh God. But other than that, that was it. So I ain't going to say it was all that, but you know how this show is. is this is building is something. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but peel, this is my peel skit. it back layer by layer. So uh, this is my favorite show. So hopefully, uh, hopefully next week we'll see what 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 happened to Skanks. Like I said, I still believe that Jacob whooped his tail. We are gonna see. We need to find Kevin. If, yes. if Kevin don't show back up, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hire a new PI firm mm -hmm. to go find Oscar. Kevin. And we need I, Ayana Fix My Life going over there to help all of them out because they life need to be fixed. Yeah. Oh, Clarissa tried to tell Gigi she needed help. She said, <laughs> I said, see, see, Pastor. No, all y'all need help. Pastor, you can't be rejected. No help now. You got to go see the say, psychologist. Say, you can't judge Gigi because you, mama, you and Jacob just came out of bad situation. Well, that's what she said. She said, we went and got some uh -huh. help. So anyway, y'all, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.